Once you're inside your Pro Tool session, you want to prepare it to do whatever type of work you're intending to do inside of there. In this particular case, we want to prepare it for post-production work. One of the first things we want to do is change the time scale, which is up here. You could just click on this little down arrow. Again, you can hold your cursor over basically any part of it, and it will tell you what that thing is. So this is the main counter selector. Another thing you can do, you can change it by clicking on your time scale ruler. So we want it to be in time code in the case of post-production work. One of the things that I see here is that the session is starting at zero hour. This has kind of been accepted a little bit more nowadays, but the standard for broadcast video productions is a start time, or what's called a first frame of action, or FFOA, of one hour even. That would be one hour, zero minutes, zero seconds, and zero frames. If I want to change this, I can either go to setup, and go to session, or if I hit command keypad two, and then it brings up my session setup window. In the upper right hand corner, I have my session start time. So normally what I will do is I'll just click on the whole thing. And then I could just type in numbers, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. And it should look like that. One of the things you have to do is you have to remember to hit either enter or return in this case. So I'm gonna do that, and now I can see the location of the start of the session is one hour. One thing about this though, is I usually want to have a little bit of time before my first frame of action. This is something that does vary from production house to production house. I leave 10 seconds before all of my sessions. I could fit what is called the universal sympty leader, which was that countdown that you would see at the beginning of old movies. What I'm gonna do instead of having it start at one hour is I'm gonna have it start at 00, 0, 59, 50, 0, 0, and I'm gonna hit enter again. So now I can see that my session is starting at 5950 to allow for that sympty leader. The other thing that I might wanna do while I'm in here is change my time code rate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to one of the many standards. It's the digital broadcast standard in the United States, which is 23976. I'm not going to worry about feet and frames rate, nor am I going to worry about time code 2 rate. These things don't really matter. If I wanted to, you could see up here, if I wanted to, I could view feet and frames at the same time. I can also view time code 2. I wanted to, I don't need to see bars and beats, real time or samples. This is kind of equivalent to looking at miles per hour and kilometers per hour at the same time when you're driving. So normally what I would do is minimize this and I wouldn't even look at time code two. If you wanna change what you're viewing, you could click on this little grid over here and it'll bring down this pull down menu. So I can close it the same way I opened it, which is by hitting command keypad two. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to create four dialogue tracks. Pro Tools is a pretty well thought out program. So when I'm thinking of a new track, I would probably go to the track menu and then there it is. Or I can hit Command Shift N and I could create new tracks that way. It gives me the choice between mono, stereo, and different types of multi-channel systems. I can have an audio track and a bunch of other types of tracks. I can have it be in samples or ticks. Audio is typically measured in samples. And then it also has a name. What I'm gonna do in this session is I'm gonna be doing dialogue work. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna type in dialogue and then I'm gonna put an underscore there. I can tab through these, then I'm gonna type in the number four. If you want to, you can have different types of tracks by hitting the plus key with the mouse or you can hit Command Plus. So I'm gonna hit the minus key, go back to the original. I can hit Return, and then it will create the new tracks. One thing you'll notice is it created them as Dialogue underscore one, Dialogue underscore two, Dialogue underscore three, Dialogue underscore four. What I would recommend doing is changing this to the character names and organizing your tracks via character. Another thing you might wanna do is you might wanna create a master track. So I can go back up to track or I can hit command shift N. You can also change these from mono to stereo by hitting command on the left and right arrow, or I can change the track type by hitting command up and down arrow. So in this case, I wanna create a master fader. I'm gonna call it master. 
I'm gonna hit create. That is how to create the tracks in a new session.